Hello friends, Grunfeld defense is called as the most theoretical variation of all openings and in, the, in this video you will learn why is it called so. We are going to look at the classical exchange variation of uh, Grunfeld defense. First of all the Grunfeld defense will arise after the move order d4, knight f6, c4, g6 trying to fiancher to the kingside bishop and uh, now white plays knight c3 preparing the move e4 and Grunfeld defense is all about stopping the move e4 and so we play d5 and uh, the classical exchange variation starts with the move c cross d5 this is the most popular move and uh, this is the most theoretical variation of uh, Grunfeld defense also all the, move, uh, all the moves were analyzed back and uh, almost uh, to find novelty in this opening is very difficult so the main line continues with uh, knight cross uh, d5 and now white plays e4 taking the full center and uh, black's main idea in this opening is to capture on c3 and when uh, white captures back now black plays bishop g7 aiming at the center and uh, later uh, black will uh, generate counterplay by attacking the white's center which he allowed to build so now uh, white has to play the move bishop c4 and uh, after let's say c5 c5 is an important move because it attacks the center and uh, the d4 pawn cannot move because the c3 pawn will hang and so white defends it with uh, knight e2 and uh, knight e2 is because uh, after knight f3 uh, the bishop will uh, pin the knight and uh, after the bishop captures on the knight d4 pawn will uh, be lost so knight e2 to prevent uh, bishop g4 if now we play bishop g4 then f3 will uh, counter attack our bishop so knight e2 is played and uh, now black can either castle or uh, play knight c6 uh, either of the moves will transpose so castles castles and after knight c6 the d4 pawn is attacked for the fourth time and uh, white has to defend it for the fourth time and so bishop e3 is uh, move and uh, now black plays bishop g4 trying to exchange the knight and uh, leaving the d4 pawn unprotected so white has to play the move f3 here and this was the point for uh, playing knight e2 and now black's main line move is to play the move knight a5 this is the best move here attacking the bishop on c4 and from here white can choose between two moves one move is to play the bishop on d3 and the other move is to capture on f7 because the black's bishop is also hanging so after uh, rook, cross f rook cross f7 and uh, f cross g4 and uh, when this variation is called as a civil variation of uh, Grunfeld defense and uh, it is playable but uh, uh, we will look at this at the last the main line move is to play the move bishop d3 and uh, now black will take on d4 and after takes black will play bishop c e6 and this move actually aims at the c4 square and also at the a2 pawn so now now on looking at the white's position you will realize that uh, these two pieces are stuck on defending this d4 pawn and uh, the light square bishop cannot be improved much and uh, if uh, move like uh, queen, queen a4 it will be get hit by the moves uh, a6 and b5 so the uh, a1 rook cannot move because a2 will fall and uh, so it's really hard to find a good move for here, good move for white here and um, so white has to decide again between two moves the two moves are one is rook c1 which sacrifices the a2 pawn and uh, this is actually equal and um, 
the other move is to play d5 sacrificing the exchange so in both variations uh, it has been analyzed uh, deeply and uh, it will either end on, into a draw or um, or sometimes uh, if uh, either of the players make mistakes then um, it will uh, be a win for either side so we will look into one of the variations first let's take uh, rook c1 and uh, now the a2 pawn is sacrificed and uh, we will accept it now the best move is to play queen a4 attacking the bishop and the bishop drops to e6 and now d5 now the bishop is not, the rook is not on the a1 uh, square so d5 is possible now and after bishop d7 queen b4 now you can realize that uh, black's pieces are stuck now the queen cannot move and the knight is stuck or uh, defending the b7 square the bishop uh, light square bishop doesn't have any good squares to go the dark square bishop is excellently placed on the diagonal but the rooks are not connected and uh, yeah now you have to remember uh, this move for the black which is to play e6 and this frees up the position for black uh, uh, as uh, if it takes uh, then uh, we can take with our bishop and uh, this e6 square will be avail available for the knight and uh, we can move our queen and then um, connect the rooks so white will definitely not do that and uh, he will play the best move here which is knight c3 protecting the d5 square and whenever a capture hop happens on uh, d5 uh, he will capture with the knight and so the theory goes uh, b6 uh, protecting the knight and uh, the main idea is uh, actually to re-maneuver re this knight to the c5 square and understanding that white tries to stop it and uh, yeah the game can continue from here you can play bishop c8 and after captures captures the game can go on and um, this position is actually equal but uh, because black has uh, two pawns on the queen side uh, it's um, practically easy to play with black pieces and um, you can try this out in your games but theoretically it has been a um, a draw and now let's um, look into the other moves after bishop e6 the other move is to play the move d5 sacrificing the exchange and now uh, after bishop captures a1 queen captures a1 now you can look these um, dark squares are um, completely weak and uh, we have to defend that so f6 is played the bishop cannot be taken because uh, his bishop is also hanging on d3 and the best move continues uh, bishop h6 attacking the rook and after rook e8 now uh, white usually plays king h1 to avoid this uh, queen b6 check because uh, sometimes uh, the bishop on b5 can be easily taken uh, with this check uh, so to avoid all those tactics uh, white plays king h1 and now um, still the bishop cannot be taken so white plays rook c1 and now white has a good move here which is to play knight f4 attacking the bishop and uh, simultaneously defending the bishop on d3 so black will have to play bishop d7 and uh, not bishop f7 because it will be inactive there so bishop d7 is a um, good move and now white goes full on attack with e5 and um, if you are uh, looking at this position for the first time then you must be really scared as all these pieces are uh, aiming at our king and uh, finding a best move here is um, actually on the board is difficult so but uh, uh, the theory is all about uh, remembering all those uh, moves and um, knight c4 is the best move here so it's attacking the e5 pawn and uh, if uh, e, e cross f6 then after e cross f6 it's um, defendable position for black so the best move goes with e6 and after uh, bishop a4 now white has to play the only move to 
continue the game and that moves to sacrifice the knight and if uh, any white player is playing with this for the first time then uh, he might uh, he might not uh, find this so after uh, captures bishop captures now black's best move is to play knight e5 attacking the bishop and uh, the bishop doesn't actually wants to take on the rook because uh, in the end we will uh, easily defend our uh, king and uh, we will be at peace up so the best move goes with uh, bishop e4 and after bishop c2 we are trying to just uh, exchange the attacking pieces and after uh, bishop cross e2 rook cross e2 we are now in a rook up position but uh, actually it's a draw so the drawing line continues with uh, queen d1 this is the only move that draws the game and uh, these are all just theories and uh, every player knows but uh, if a player hasn't read about this or uh, he, he doesn't know then uh, he might get into trouble easily and uh, here there are two ways to draw as a black and uh, the two ways are one is queen c7 and the other one is to play king h7 so i will recommend the move queen c7 as um, it may give you a chance to win maybe if you are uh, playing uh, a low rated player so here the best move is to play f4 preparing the queen to come to the king side and um, that will be a checkmate soon so here the best move for black is to sacrifice the rook by playing rook c1 and after uh, queen captures queen captures and then uh, after rook captures knight g4 it looks like that the bishop is trapped and uh, black is a piece up but actually it's not that simple because after h3 knight captures bishop and after g4 the knight itself is trapped now and um, it's not really easy to improve the black's position because um, the best move goes with king f8 and after uh, rook comes to c Seven and after b5, rook captures a7, rook d8 attacking the d5 pawn. Then after uh, rook d7, rook a8 attacking that pawn, and uh, after rook b7, knight g8, it's uh, pretty much actually draw because um, after this, after this. black cannot really improve his position and uh, it will be a draw soon so this is how the grunfeld theory goes and uh, this is this was all about the two moves which is uh, rook c1 and uh, rook c1 and head d5 okay so it's come to the civil variation of uh, grunfeld defense here after bishop cross f7 and rook cross f7 f cross g4 the continuation for black is to capture the rook and after king captures here uh, the queen captures the rook is um, actually not good because after knight c4 attacking the bishop the bishop uh, cannot be actually defend the bishop actually has to be defended it cannot move because uh, if it moves then after uh, knight d2 this pawn will be lost and uh, white is not a pawn up now and uh, this position is easy to play with black pieces so that's not good so usually white will capture the king the best way for black is to continue with uh, c cross d4 and after white capture c cross d4 black can play e5 e5 is the best way to generate uh, counterplay in this kind of positions because uh, in the past uh, many players tried out uh, many different uh, moves uh, and didn't get enough uh, chances to win as a black so e5 is uh, now the best way to play and uh, it actually allows white to create a passed pawn but uh, that's the only way to generate counterplay for black side also so 
the best move goes with d5 and uh, it's the best uh, way for white to try to win and uh, so the game the analysis continues with knight c4 attacking the bishop on e3 now the bishop has to be protected because uh, if it moves uh, then uh, after queen f6 you will be threatening a fork so king will move and after uh, rook f8 uh, attacking the bishop we are actually activating all our pieces and uh, that will be really good for us and white's uh, extra pawn doesn't uh, count here because it will be sooner or later captured and so this is actually good for black so here uh, the best move goes with uh, queen d3 and after captures captures queen h4 attacking the g4 pawn and after h3 bishop h6 attacking the queen then let's say somewhere uh, queen d3 and uh, rook f8 check and the game can continue this way so this is actually not uh, that easy to play with uh, black or uh, it's not completely lost for white but uh, a favorable way for black to play in this uh, kind of positions and uh, you can try it out in your games look out for the passed pawn <laughs> on the d5 square so yeah that's what uh, i wanted to say all about this opening this is the classical exchange variation of grunfeld defense and i hope you understand this video very well and this opening is all about the theory and uh, it has been a old fashioned opening now but uh, if uh, anyone doesn't know about this then uh, he might easily get into trouble and uh, old is cold so please like the video and uh, subscribe to our channel for more videos like this and uh, we'll meet you in the next video thank you